Uh, it's been a couple years, but I finally made it out to CES. I want to send a thank you to the folks at Qualcomm for covering my travel and accommodations at the show. And the first thing I wanted to talk about this year on the show floor was the first presentation that Qualcomm had to offer. We got a, another look at the next part of the lineup for the Snapdragon X series chips. I've had excellent experiences with my Surface Laptop 7 running the Snapdragon X Elite. Uh, they showed off the X2, but we are only just now going hands-on with some of the partner systems that will eventually be uh, delivering the X2 Elite, Elite Extreme. You can always count on Qualcomm to have some funny naming convention for some of their chips and processors and GPUs. But at the show right now, obviously the, the big headline, the big announcement was the X2 Plus, rounding out the lineup of X series chips and uh, bringing some more affordable options in that sort of middle tier compute performance space. We're seeing all of the numbers, the benchmarks, the bar graphs. But what I'm always really excited about when it comes to ARM is that performance per watt. Not just does it have good idle, so it gets uh, better battery life when you're not using it, but can we use the full capabilities of the CPU, the GPU, the NPU, while on battery power with limited throttle? And that's where ARM is really going to shine. It's where we've seen success in a number of applications and a number of markets. The X2 Plus brings in two variants that are going to help consumers uh, hopefully make better purchasing decisions for their needs. Not everyone needs the most expensive top-of-the-line system. Some people just need more modest compute power. Maybe they're not gaming. They just need some good CPU uplift. But they still want to get all that work done. They still want to be able to use everything on the battery in the device without having to go outlet to outlet. But in this whole setup here, what I've been excited to to see over the last year and a half that we've been talking about these chips are all of the small little victories that have kind of built up and improved performance and improved compatibility. I actually put a video out on this uh, earlier on my channel just talking about some of the highs and lows of Windows on ARM, but mostly the highs in where we've been seeing better app compatibility, we're seeing better uh, hardware compatibility. Uh, for me, especially being an old school audio guy, Getting to walk over to the little demo station here and looking at audio interfaces and better recording software, things that I, I think Microsoft in general has really struggled with in terms of compatibility. We're gonna a little shot in the arm, thanks to these ARM PCs, these AI co-pilot PCs. And of course, everybody had a lot of noise to make about improving the NPU performance, the on-device AI. Microsoft talking about the mixture of hybrid, cloud, and on-device. But for me, I I'm really interested in what kinds of plugins, assistive tools, things that we can run locally, minimal battery power, minimal performance hit, and that you can still get a lot of extra work done. The, the things that can help support you, there's got to be another side of that equation where we've got these tools that can run on their own longer, and that's what makes me excited about ARM. The consumer push for me really shines, and it's just wild to me. You pick up one of these shells, and it doesn't feel like a real computer. They're that thin and light, but they're high performance systems. They're full fledged, ready to go systems. I got to manhandle a little on the HPs and the Asus's. There's some really cool stuff, some really fancy gear out there. And I'm sure all of Qualcomm's partners are gonna be looking to make their own announcements from the show floor. I'm hopefully gonna get to go hands on and play with some of those as well. There's gonna be a lot more news from CES 2026. And I was just glad that I was able to step into this one First, I think this is a very important step in how we compete and how we make better consumer-facing products for a wider variety of consumers. Got to throw a shout out, another thank you to Qualcomm for covering my travel and accommodations. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. All the support lately has been incredible. People uh, smashing bell icons to help the algorithms. And a huge thank you to my patrons, all of the folks over on patreon.com slash some gadget guy. You know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy, basically everywhere. But these days, I'm spending a bit more time on the Mastodons and a lot less so on all the other social media platforms. But you can still find me there, and I will catch you all on the next video.